Yeah, feminism. Um, okay. So if I heard feminism, I'd say strength. Um, equality. 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 I think in all, we all want to be treated equal. And I think that's what, um, to me, that's why I associate that word with it. Um, dignity. The first thing I think of is women. Uh, women? I don't know. Like, yeah, it's about women's rights. Seems pretty relevant, yeah. Now it's all good, babe. Well, I back would, babe. And let me close. Cause girls like you roll around with guys like me. So sundown when I come through, I need a girl like you. Yeah, yeah, girls like you love fun and yeah. Me do what I want when I come through, I need a girl like you. I'm scared out of my mind to walk around in the dark, even in my own neighborhood. None of my male friends have this problem, and most of them aren't even aware of the fear that constantly accompanies being young and female. I was walking to the Safeway next to my house one day. It was a hot summer day, so obviously I was wearing shorts. A group of guys in a car catcalled me, saying something about my legs, which was beyond inappropriate for a middle schooler. Feminism is important to me because one time I wore a tight shirt and someone yelled, your boobs look huge five guys looked at my chest. One of the guys did not stop looking for a full minute. Anytime I walk alone or even with, uh, with other female friends, I am hyper aware of any males around me and I fear for my safety. I carry my keys between my knuckles even on short walks to a coffee shop. One time I was getting food with my friends late at night and a tall man walked behind us while making kissy noises. It was so scary and we had to run into the restaurant. It's, it's pretty creepy, I'd say. Personally, I had no idea that you know, women were, I guess, like they had a, they had so much to fear when they go out at night. I think, like, as a guy, like, I don't think twice before I go outside the house, like, even if it was like 11 p.m. or something. But reading this, I think it's a lot more clear to me now what women have to go through. So wait, this was like a limber suit? Like, that's, yeah, that's crazy to me. Like, I've, I've heard about, like, stuff happening in, like, bad neighborhoods and stuff like that, but I didn't know that stuff like this happened. That's scary to think about. You know? I think more than shock, it's kind of just like, um, I feel a little bit disgusted by it. I mean, um, I remember there was one time when I was like eight, um, my, like I was just like with my brother and we were walking with my mom and my mom got catcalled by this random guy who was just like zipping by on, in a car. And then hearing this story, I, I do feel like um, sorry for whoever experiences this, and I know it's like that's a lot of people. Sometimes I hear sexual jokes being made about girls on campus. Even though it's not about me, it always makes me feel very uncomfortable. Firstly, because I fear I may someday be subject to these jokes, and most importantly, because a fellow girl is having to deal with this and the victim almost always just laughs it off. I'm always sad that neither I nor they have the courage to stand up and say something. I don't understand why teachers can't take time out of their class to tell students, don't rape. Don't do anything without anyone's consent. Don't use physical force to leverage power in intimate relationships. Don't harass people. Because a lot of students, not just male students, don't understand that. I've had too many girlfriends go through too many things, and I've known too many guy friends who put other people through too many things. I've literally sat in a table group with a guy who is notorious for groping and assaulting girls. Uh, this is this is a kind of a wake up call, you know, and, and it's sad, I guess, to hear that um, this is just more common than I would have liked to. It makes me wonder, like, am I being explicit enough with my teaching um, to get these things across? Because while we don't want to be overly preachy, uh, to what extent are we extending just normal moral judgments uh, and expectations? So um, I think it just it has to start young. I, I would argue that, my opinion, the age appropriate sexual education should happen as early as kindergarten. You've got whatever, you know, kindergarten math, kindergarten spelling, kindergarten writing, and then you've got, okay, boys and girls should act this way together, and that gets reinforced. It becomes part of, 
you know, the instruction somehow throughout the years. Um, you know, hitting kids by the time they hit ninth grade with sex ed, okay. Um, in terms of like what we could do as a whole, um, you know, it's, it's hard. I don't know where to start. Is it something that we have as a whole school conversation? Something that comes up as it comes up in our readings and our writings and, and what we hear um, with cultural or uh, current events, things like that. Um, I, I, I don't think I have an answer. I think it's something that maybe we want to address as the needs rise and not saying that only one incident is not enough. It's really saying that you, I think students have as much say in terms of what their education can look like based on how high they raise their voices about it. Like school is meant to be a safe place, right? Where, I mean, you're with your friends, you learn, you, but a lot of this stuff, especially like with the last one that you read and this one, it's, you're making someone feel uncomfortable and unsafe and it makes you not want to come to school because, you know, there are people like this who say these things and it's just, I don't know, it's not, not ideal. Maybe the situ the problem is that we're not teaching, we're not stopping the situation from happening, but trying to say, if this happens, do this. Well, one assault is too many. Any groping is, is, is too much. Um, and we gotta, we have to find a way, um, especially at a campus like ours, where we tend to think, oh, there's no problems. We're all, you know, doing this, doing that. There are problems, and every school has problems, it's just what problems we're dealing with. And this is something we need to take very seriously. Um, because if anybody's getting assaulted, that means the campus is not safe for at least one of our students, and therefore we can't consider it a safe campus. As, as a male myself, uh, I don't know the plight of uh, being a female. Um, I don't know, like I'm told, but I truly don't know because I can't experience it. And I think the only way I can, you know, the closest I can come to experiencing it is, is learning from, from females, uh, from women, um, what it's like to be in their position so that it could influence the way I respond, react, do, support, whatever it may be. Um, I don't think feminism is a fight that's only by females for females. I think it's a fight by many people, um, all pushing towards equality. So, yeah. Spent 24 hours, I need more hours with you You spent the weekend getting even, ooh. Cause girls like you go around with guys like me Till sundown when I come through I need a girl like you